today. Um, this is Pam again uh, from Stack Social, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about a really cool product we have, which is the 64-bit driver kit by iFixit. Um, now, a lot of you are probably wondering, why do I need 64 bits? Why do I need a driver kit? Um, and that's a really great question. And um, let's start a little bit by talking about iFixit. So iFixit is the manufacturer, and um, iFixit has basically dedicated themselves to creating all of the tools necessary to help you take apart your electronics. So um, a lot of what they offer is they have a, a Wikipedia of repair guides on their site, which is really awesome. So if you want to take apart, let's say, a gaming console or your cell phone or a, a digital camera for whatever reason for a repair, or maybe you even want to um, add something that it doesn't have, you can go on there and search their site, and um, they'll probably have a repair guide that has instructions, um, a tool guide to let you know what tools you need, as well as um, a, a lot of photos. So all the photos are meant to help um, help you know what, you, what you're doing, what you're supposed to be doing, and um, uh, everything like that. So it's a really awesome resource, um, especially for one case uh, which happens to a lot of people is cracked phone screens. That happens all the time. Um, we all have smartphones and we carry them everywhere and if you drop them and crack your screen, um, I think it makes it super easy to repair it. Um, this has a lot of the different screws that you would need to take apart. Um, pretty much any uh, standard smartphone from Android to iOS, whatever it is. Um, also, a really cool thing about iFixit is if you happen to be somebody who knows how to take apart a lot of things, you can actually submit your own repair guide, um, and you can submit guides to repairing just about anything. Uh, something that they have that's really cool is, um, let's say you have a really old gaming console, like an old PlayStation or an old um, Game Boy even, um, they'll show you how to repair it so that you can get it to work again in case... Um, you know, you uh, maybe want to change out the screen in an old Game Boy that doesn't work anymore and kind of bring it back to life. Um, they have guides actually to help you out with uh, re, um, refurbishing old, old gaming consoles, which is really neat. Um, so why do you need this particular bit kit? Now that's a really good question. Um, so this comes with 64 bits, and um, that might seem like a lot. And if you've ever bought in a toolkit before, sometimes you, you buy it thinking it has a bunch of stuff in it, and then you realize you really only needed three or four things. Th that is not the case with this particular driver kit. Um, I fixed it actually scoured all of their um, guides, all of their repair guides, and they took a look at what are the most popular bits, what are ones that are um, in most smartphones, most gaming consoles, small electronics, laptops, like anything like that, and let's try and... Um, kind of get it down to 64 to a good amount. That way you just need one kit to take apart everything, which is really cool. So they're actually using um, a lot of their user data to try and understand what people actually need to buy. Um, and like I said, this helps you take apart a lot of different things. Let's say you want to put in a new hard drive for your laptop, um, you want to take apart a tablet, uh, whatever it is, if you need to take it apart, this can probably help you out. Uh, anything from about an Apple Watch to an old Nintendo, um, so let's take a look at what's inside. Um, like I said, it comes with a lot of different kits. It comes with the standard um, Phillips as well as Flathead, but also comes with a lot of the unique ones that are harder to find, um, such as the Pentalobe, um, Torx security screws, which are screws that um, you generally uh, can't find in a whole lot of places. Um, so let's open this up. Um, and it comes in this really nice um, plastic box that is um, magnetic so that um, it, it closes really securely and you're not going to accidentally um, open it and all of the bits are going to come out, um, which is really, really nice. Um, and, and it also comes in a very sturdy box, which is awesome. awesome. Um, so here is the whole bit kit, and I'll um, get it a little bit closer. So it comes with this high-density foam, um, as well as uh, the foam has imprints on here, which lets you know um, which bit you're looking at. Um, so let's take a look at one for example, and it comes obviously with the screwdriver, which comes with um, a couple of different places to grip, um, a really nice grippy surface there that you can see, um, also as well as here, and also the twisting end here so that you can obviously twist something open um, easily. So uh, let's take a look. Here we have, let's see, 
For example, this bit is one that you would use to take apart um, the bottom of your iPhone. So it clicks in, it's uh, magnetic, it's super secure in there. Um, yeah, and you're pretty much ready to take apart just about anything. Um, and also a really cool thing it comes with is an extender. So um, as you can see, um, it comes with all the different bits and then it has this really long extender on this side. Um, so that's if you have uh, something that's harder to reach. Um, you click the extender in, um, then you click in the bit and you pretty much can um, turn in at any angle. Um, it gets a little bit harder, obviously, the, the more you, you, you flex the extender, but um, it's pretty cool because you can obviously get to a lot of different hard to reach places with that. Um, also, a really cool bit that it comes with is a, a ton of different um, bits, but one that's specifically for ejecting SIM cards. Because if you have an iPhone, for example, ejecting your SIM card is not easy. You have to find a hairpin or a clothespin or something, and often that'll scratch up your phone, and um, it's just not the right tool. So it actually comes with a tool here that's specifically just for ejecting your SIM card. So they've really thought of everything here, which is really awesome. And also the actual case here um, is really cool because um, if you're at taking apart, uh, let's say, an iPhone, uh, it comes with a ton of screws. And all the screws are different lengths. Um, and in order for you to keep them all organized, the lid is actually a sorting tray. So it has this cool grid, which um, is kind of raised. And so you can kind of sort all of the different parts and components that you're taking apart and make sure that you keep everything organized uh, for when you put everything back together. Because it's definitely a nightmare if you are not putting uh, the screws in order and then you're trying to put everything back together. Um, that can definitely get a little bit tricky. Um, so yeah, and like you can see uh, here, there's little um, magnetic, um, magnetic buds here that, that hook everything up to keep it nice and closed, and that high-density foam really keeps everything in place uh, really securely, which is awesome. So yeah, um, and this is live on Stack Social right now. Um, it's, um, I think, only going to be up until probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, we'll, I'll put up the link after the video so that you guys can take a look at it. Uh, but yeah, and I hope you guys found this really useful, but the 64-bit driver kit could really help you out if you're looking to take apart some electronics. Um, all right, until next time, guys. Thank you.